How goes it? I'm Wolf Maxwell, and this is What Did We Miss? Here, I tell you the stories WWAY did not, so if you've heard these stories before, shame on you for getting your news from somewhere else. What you're looking at here is footage of the first time ever two jetpacks have been flown at the same time. This flight proved the pilots are able to maneuver around each other safely. Jetpack Aviation, the company that built these, is planning to launch the first ever Jetpack Racing League this year. This is awesome. Like, I'm all for Jetpack Racing, but is there a way to remove uh, the very real possibility of death around this? Like, I don't know, maybe they all race like five feet above a foam pit. I know this is the future and I'm sounding like the first person to ever see a Model T, like, good heavens, is this contraption safe? But like, good heavens, is this contraption safe? One Virginia woman had a somewhat unpleasant surprise in her Christmas tree. If you're thinking, are we really doing a story about someone's Christmas tree right now? I'm gonna need you to stop pretending that you don't have a tree still up. Maybe, maybe you've got some Halloween candy lying around your nasty house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was a little hostile. Uh, it's just hypothetical hecklers really get me riled up. Molly Cruz's home had over a hundred praying mantises hatch from an egg hidden in a tree branch. Cruz doesn't want to hurt any of them, so she's rounding them up, feeding them, and selling them to whoever might want to protect their garden. All right, so let's see. If she's going to keep them, then we'll say that there's 100 mantises, so let's assume 50 of them are female. So that's 50 pairs, uh, roughly 50 eggs with about 100 bugs inside each. Female mantises eat the male mantis after mating, so we can subtract 50. All right, if it takes three to six months for eggs to hatch, all right, so if we keep doing this, then by April, I'm playing Pac-Man. I'm, I'm playing Pac-Man. The town of Dunedin, New Zealand has long been able to brag that they have the world's steepest street. I didn't say it was a normal brag, just that they did it. However, there's now a challenger. The people of Harlech, Wales say they have an even steeper street. Who has it? Well, let's go to the tail of the measuring tape. In this corner, the current record holder with a gradient of 35%, it's the Heaton in Dunedin, the thunder there down under. It's Baldwin Street. And in the other corner, the challenger with a rumored gradient of 36%, it's the holy grail of all of Wales, the new way in the UK, Ford Pandlek. So which street is steeper? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Uh, Guinness just got the official measurements from Wales, it's gonna take a minute to confirm. Uh, they have to take it like the Guinness lab or something, I don't know, it'll be a few weeks. I'll update you here, or maybe not, depending on how long it takes. Look, if you see me around, just ask. I'll let you know if I've heard anything. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed.